Yes guys, what is happening? It's Adam Donnelly here and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a full day of eating on 2,200 calories and I'll show you how I managed to get 200 grams of protein in it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I think in the very first like, COVID lockdown in 2020 was when I kind of first started to make the breakfast bagels and since then I've generally been hooked. Not only me, but I know that so many people in my TikTok like make them all the time now. A lot of my clients have the breakfast bagels all the time. So I started a trend, the breakfast bagels are, are so good, but I'll leave the calorie macros along the screen here. Basically, we've got four baking medallions. Now, I've just got an egg that I cut up between two bagels and then two of the low fat cheese slices. See, the cheese slices, again, they do like 30 calories with like one and a half gram of fat per slice, which is really, really good. Then we've got bagel thins, so again, they're thin bagels and it saves a bit more calories compared to the bigger ones. Also, with me one, I take my AM supplement, so I've got a few different ones. So I take this Alpha Men supplement. It's got 21 essential vitamins and minerals, so sounds important, so I take it. Also, I take essential omega oils as well. I don't really get any fish in my diet, so that's why I take them. I was taking just kind of standard vitamin D, but then my protein have released a vitamin D3 elite. And I just think it's like stronger and again living in Scotland where we see the sun about one time one time a day, one time a year. I'd be lucky if we seen it one time a day, one time every year. And also I take ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is just shown to lower your cortisol levels. So I just feel when I take it in the morning, like I'm a lot kind of less stressed throughout the day. You can take it before you go to bed to help you go to sleep as well, but I just prefer taking it in the morning. Like I said, I feel like it, it you know, kind of de-stresses me the rest of the day. But yeah, we've got a busy day today. We're going to eat this and then I will show you meal two. I think I'm just going to have oats as my pre-workout meal. Then I'm going to go into the gym, go to spa for a wee bit. I've got a sports massage as well, which is definitely needed because I'm the tightest guy ever. And then, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you the other meals. Oh, also, code done at the My Protein checkout for all these bad boys. Okay, we had to make a quick pit stop to Curry's because I was literally just about to film the, the second meal and then I think the SD card was full. I know nothing about cameras and computers and technology and stuff like that as well, so I always kind of freak out in these moments, but big shout out to Casey. See if you watch my YouTube, mate, you're an absolute legend. Casey is the guy that works at Curry's and he's literally dealt with like everything like when I went and got my MacBook he helped me with that when I went and get my camera he helped me with that and the guy is just so clued up about everything and I went in there today and I was just like I didn't even want another member of staff I was just like it's Casey and then I went and got him man so honestly what an absolute legendary guy he is but yeah so we've got the SD card we're away home meal two it's going to be protein oats but I've been I've been leveling up the oat game the, the oat game has been levelled up. I've never really been a fan of oats before, but wait until I wait until I show you the method. I'll, I'll show you once we get home. Hello, hello. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Come here. Oh, so this is not actually. Oh, kisses, kisses. This is not actual my dog. I just stole it off the street. Come on. Uh, we're looking after my auntie's dog for a couple of weeks, and well, a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been that about a week and a half. He is the cutest wee guy ever. He loves attention. Everywhere you go, he'll follow you about. Don't you? Don't you? Hmm? You're cute, so I'll let you away with it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Kisses. <laughs> oh, he's an excited boy. Where's your fish? Where's your fish? Come on, where we going? This video is just not going as planned because I realised I didn't have oats, so I just had to go down to Tesco. And this wee man is not happy with me that I left him. Aren't you not? Aren't you not? No, you're not. Where's your duck? 
Where's your duck? Let's go get your duck. This is one of his favourite, favourite toys. Basil, where's your duck? Where's your duck? Go! And then he should, yep, and then he just carries it about in his mouth, like a dummy. So, get your bowl down. I'm going to be weighing out about 60 grams. Yeah, so get the 60 gram of oats. And then you basically just want to fill it up with water. So just fill it up. About that will do it. And then bang it in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, so instead of just putting like the standard kind of protein powder like through the oats and it makes it a bit kind of thick and a bit gritty, it's horrible. We're going to make like a protein like paste. Like a, like a kind of, I don't know how to describe it, it's weird. So you literally just put a scoop of protein in, gradually add in milk and then it will turn into like a thick kind of consistency. But see if you get a good tasting protein powder, it comes out like a kind of batter that you're going to like spread over the oats and it's chef's kiss, so, so good. Of course, you know, we are using the boys at my protein code Don at the checkout for a discount. We're going to be using the chocolate brownie batter. I have tried a lot of the proteins that I do think that the chocolate brownie batter is the best flavour. Generally guys, if you use my code, it does really, really support me. So I'll leave the code in the link in the bio. Head over to the my protein website. Pick whatever it is that you want, cause supplements, anything, and then use code DON at the checkout. And you should save a good week. I think it's 37% off just now, so that's nearly half price on everything. Half price, that's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna add the scoop of protein to the bowl. And you just really gradually want to add milk in like that. Mix it around, and you'll see that it goes like quite clumpy, like that. And then that's when you add another wee bit extra in of the milk. And then it should start to kind of combine a wee bit more. Yes, here we go. So you see now that it's like quite thick and it's turned into like a kind of paste and we're going to use that on top of the oats. So the oats are done, they're nice and warm. I'm going to be putting a bit of dark chocolate on it. So dark chocolate is really, really good for you. It's a healthy source of fats. Full of antioxidants, it's been proven to help with like brain function as well. And because the oats are warm, that chocolate should start to kind of melt over all of the oats as well. And now, add in your chocolate brownie batter. And it really is like a brownie batter that you're pouring on top of it. Look at that. That is a game changer for your oats, right there. So yeah, pre-workout meal, like I said, it's a pretty solid pre-workout meal. Oats are obviously a very, very good source of carbohydrates, are very good for an energy release before the gym as well. Pre-workout meal, always leave it a good kind of one to two hours before a train, just to allow it to actually digest. A lot of people eat their pre-workout meal and then go like straight into the gym right after finishing eating and you're just, your body's not going to have that energy readily available to use for your session, so always wait. I always think hour is a sweet spot, like one hour after I've eaten, then go in and start my session. So we're going to scram this, I'll leave the calorie and macros all on the screen and I'll see you in meal three, the post-workout one. Just back from the gym, hit an upper body session. We've done 30 minutes on the stairs as well and then I got a sports massage. And wow, I'm tight. I've got literally so many knots in my like, traps and my upper back, but seeing me get into them and it's like, you can feel like the, the kind of like, wee balls moving about. Oh my God, it's so sore. But anyways, post-workout meal, Usually I have cereal with a protein shake, but I've been changing it up recently and I've been having like the pure standard bodybuilder meal, chicken and rice, so got this muscle food, peri peri chicken. That's cooking in the air fryer just now, looking tasty. Gonna be having this VT sticky rice. If you don't know about this rice, get to know, it's so good. It comes out like a, like a proper kind of like rice that you maybe get from like the Japanese or the Chinese. And then I always just have a big massive bag of spinach as well, so it's a post-workout meal. There we have it, the post-workout meal. Post-workout meal, meal number three, so we've got a full packet of the VT rice, one packet of the muscle food peri chicken, the macros are insane I think. It's like 200 calories for the whole packet, but it's got 50 gram of protein, which is tasty. And then a bit of Nando's sauce as well. So this is a post-workout meal. I'll leave the calorie macros on the screen here, and I'll see you at meal four, the final meal.
that that was my full day of eating on 2200 calories, 200 gram of protein, 250 grams of carbs and about 40 gram of fats. I hope you took something away from the video, I hope you took inspiration away from it. I've always been a very big believer in making your food enjoyable, alright? We can still make good progress, we can still drop body fat, we can still gain muscle whilst enjoying our food, we don't need to sacrifice that and be slamming plain chicken and rice 24-7 in order to see results. I always say, and I always preach this to all of my clients as well, the way that we are going to stay on track with any sort of diet is to make it sustainable, alright? And the only way we're going to do that is if we actually enjoy the food that we're putting in our mouth. So you've seen things like the, the high protein meal prep Nando's pasta that I made. Some people might be looking at that and think, oh my god, sure, that's like so unhealthy. But it's not, and by learning about how to, you know, remove certain ingredients, how to add things in, we can make the meals a lot higher in protein, a lot lower in calories, a lot lower in fat as well. So like I said, make sure your food's enjoyable and that is the way that you're going to stick to your diet, alright? That is the key, the key. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, it shows me you're enjoying the content. Comment below with what video you want to see from my channel next. Hit the subscribe button, I really want to hit the 2000 subscriber mark pretty soon, that would be absolutely amazing. Turn my notifications on so you never miss a video ever, ever again. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.